All right, guys, so if you make an edit on one of your pages you don't like or on one of your blog posts and you don't like it, you can always make use of revisions. In order to use revisions in WordPress, just click Edit Page. All right, and then we're going to go to the top and click Screen Options and make sure you have revisions checked and close screen options. And that way you can see everything that was edited on this page. So in our case, it's not much. But if we were to edit with Elementor, which is the page builder we always like using, and maybe we accidentally like deleted this whole yoga section right here, and we weren't sure how to get it back because it's gone, and then we updated the page, and then we shared it, and then someone wanted it back. So if that was the case, we're going to be on like the page that was changed right here. Still looks pretty good, but we want to get that section back, so let's click Edit Page. And now we have our revisions displaying on the page editor, and so we're just going to go down and click the revision that was made one minute ago. All right, and then you might need to click this arrow at the top and drag back to the old version, and then click Restore this version. And now update it. Now let's view that page. And there we go, we have our yoga section back. So that arrow and that bar might be a little bit longer if you're looking at your revisions. If you have more revisions, it might be a little bit harder to get back to them using this scroll feature, but you can always find the previous change in WordPress because with revisions, it saves your edits in time and it saves them on your server and that way you always have a backup. So basically, if you use this well, you don't need to pay for backups at least not to your WordPress blog posts or pages. All right, so that's how to get back a revision or an older version of one of your pages or blog posts.